Apple is set to unveil a new version of its Apple television a set top box, which will include programming from Netflix. That's right, streaming and movies into your television. Uh, Aisho Kumar is the senior technology analyst for uh, Rodman and Renshaw. And, um, you know, Aisho, tell us a bit about how significant this would be, this new, this sort of revamped platform for Apple TV. Absolutely. This will be the first uh, major refresh. Uh, since this platform was introduced in 2007, it could be rebranded as an ITV. And as you had mentioned, uh, it could allow consumers to more customize uh, their media consumption, the classic you know, Trojan horse in the digital you know, living room. Right. It, it, absolutely. However, you know, Apple TV has tried uh, before uh, to, you know, really gain some traction. And, uh, you know, not, not a lot of households really have this quite yet. I mean, is Netflix going to be a difference here? Absolutely, that could potentially be the proverbial killer application. We also expect uh, Apple to augment uh, this gateway device, you know, with the, the large screen, you know, touch a large screen TV that they could roll out early next year. This could be a 26-inch uh, touch screen TV right. that integrates uh, the TV and a Mac. Okay. Uh, in terms of their other devices, like the iPod Nano and also the iTouch, do you expect much on this front from them today? Yeah, I think today's focus event will largely be on the update uh, to the iPod in a family. And as you mentioned, uh, the low end of the iPod line, which is the iPod Nano, will feature a 1.8 inch you know, touch screen, away, moving away from the click wheel. Uh, again, as a category, this uh, is a largely mature category with uh, Apple dominating at about 70% unit volume, 85% um, of the value of this end market. So we expect it to largely place, uh, pace the end market growth. And what do you make of the timing of this? The timing of doing this type of refreshment on their, you know, on their audio line, I guess you could call it. I mean, what do you make of the timing on this? No, I think this is uh, the September event is usually centered around uh, the the iPod line. We also expect uh, the company to update its MacBook Air line of uh, notebooks. Uh, but the big event uh, will come early next year with the anticipated uh, launch of the iPhone 4 on the CDMA network, mm -hmm. with Verizon being the flag flagship carrier there. Okay, Ashok, uh, just spend a little time with me on the iPad. What are you, what are you hearing on the supply front on that? Now, I think supply is largely caught up uh, with demand. We expect uh, Apple to exit uh, the current quarter with a monthly production of about 2 million and possibly exit this year with a monthly production of 3 million. Uh, the gating factor at the launch was primarily the, uh, the new uh, Retina display. We think uh, more supply has come online. Uh, and uh, as you're well aware, I think uh, right now the shipment uh, lag time is about 24 hours for the iPad. Right. Okay. Well, all of that combined then, you know, the fact that they seem to be getting their orders right in terms of the supply for iPad and, you know, with this event today, is any of that going to uh, allow or drive Apple to outperform the broader stock market? Yeah, I think that's a very good point. Since the uh, June uh, quarter earnings release, uh, the stock has largely paced, uh, you know, the bro broader market. On a very near-term basis, uh, we do not expect, you know, significant upside to guidance. Uh, but looking out, uh, you know, beyond the very near term, you know, I think the company will have second wind, you know, from the iPad refresh early next year. And, of course, the global rollout on the CDMA networks, both domestically as well as in Japan, Korea, uh, India, and China. You know, could be you know a, a very um, positive year for Apple in 2011. Okay, all right, Ashok, we're going to have to leave it, leave it there. But thanks so much for joining us. That was Ashok Kumar uh, of you. Rodman and Ren Shaw.